Electric cooperatives have always been another way to say together. We show it best with the sixth cooperative principle, cooperation among cooperatives. It takes a whole network of cooperatives to serve the needs of our members, the people who flip the switch and know that they'll have light, heat, hot water, and the comforts of home, or the power to run their farm or business. Truly, together we serve. From the distribution cooperative or municipal electric to the generation and transmission cooperative and on to the Super G and T, each partner plays a vital role in accomplishing the goal, delivering power to the end user. We are serving together. Together we took on the challenges of 2010. While the electric use isn't mushrooming as it was just five years ago, sales still are increasing. That equals a need for new power sources. So NIPCO's majority power supplier, Basin Electric Power Cooperative, has been adding new generation facilities powered by a variety of fuels. In recent years, power rates have gone up to cover those construction expenses. About 80% of NIPCO's power comes from Basin Electric. The remainder comes through Western Area Power Administration, selling power produced by the flow of water through Missouri River dams. While still a good value for its price, the supply of Missouri River hydropower was reduced by a 10-year drought. WAPA was forced to make high-dollar energy purchases on the open market to meet its customers' power needs. Although the drought is over, NIPCO and other hydropower customers are now repaying those extra costs with an increased electric rate. In 2010, NIPCO and its members put their energy efficiency plan into action. Launching the plan as the Upgraded Switch Makes Sense program, the cooperatives offered financial incentives to members who installed qualifying high-efficiency equipment and appliances, put in insulation and lighting, or recycled old inefficient appliances. The cooperatives increased Switch Makes Sense spending by 32% over 2009. More changes to the Switch Makes Sense program for 2011 will encourage commercial and industrial members to join the energy efficiency movement. While cooperative members are increasing their energy efficiency awareness, it's important that the electric system has continual upgrades. During 2010, NIPCO crews worked on three brand new substations. Perkins substation north of Sioux Center was energized and loaded. Southbridge substation south of the Sioux City Airport was nearly completed. For the third substation named Lakeport in southern Woodbury County, land was secured and franchising work started. Because of damage inflicted across Iowa during a series of tornadoes and floods during 2008, NIPCO is eligible for financial assistance from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to retrofit 151 miles of older transmission line. FEMA required an archaeological study of 77 miles of line route. The study, conducted during the summer, revealed a possible Native American burial mound, three abandoned railroad grades, and a historical trash dump. FEMA recently gave NIPCO the OK to proceed with the project design. Bad weather is always a factor for the cooperatives. 2010 started out with a major snow and ice storm on January 20th, causing outages that affected more than 80 communities or substations in NIPCO's service area. Damages primarily affected the distribution cooperatives in the area. While Iowa is fortunate to have an abundant supply of wind energy, some of the wind turbines in NIPCO's southern service area caused a communication problem that was resolved in 2010. The turbines disrupted a microwave signal between NIPCO substation towers. The solution was to bury 18 miles of fiber optic cable to carry the station communications to NIPCO's existing fiber optic ring. Over the last several years, NIPCO's Salix substation has been equipped so that the electric transmission system could be operated from that site should a disaster make the Lamar's headquarters inaccessible. In 2010, enhancements at the Salix site created the ability to instantly copy all significant data from computers at NIPCO's headquarters. System control operations currently are conducted from Salix one day each month. While much of the work NIPCO does is highly technical, 
Part of the cooperative's responsibility is its relationship with its members, electric consumers, and the public. NIPCO focused its communications with those groups on the energy efficiency message. Joining with other Iowa cooperatives, NIPCO used the Touchstone Energy Together We Save campaign to reinforce the message that everyone can save a little electricity. At events such as the Farm Progress Show, the Siouxland Home Show, and the Iowa State Fair, cooperative representatives talked individually with consumers and educated them about the importance of energy efficiency. NIPCO and Corn Belt Power Cooperative work together to create a mobile energy efficiency display that travels central and western Iowa to show people how to save electricity. Together, the cooperatives have faced the challenges of protecting and preserving the electric supply, providing the power of life that cooperative members require, now and in the future. Together, we serve.